Hi, thank you for joining me today. Um, I would like to talk to you about something I've done recently, and that was I published a short script. Um, I wrote that script when I was in my second in my second year of university. Uh, it was an assignment. Um, for you who don't know, um, I did film with radio and television with screenwriting. So in the second year we had an assignment to do a non-dialogue script and yeah, I recently published like the final version of it uh, because it had, it had many, many versions, especially the ending, it had quite a few, uh, but I decided on a final one and I said I'll publish it because it's something I worked on and it's very dear to my heart. It's a really, really short script, but yeah, I'd like to show you the, the cover. So, here's the cover. Um, so it says, a man who can change everything with a touch of a pencil. This is a, a love story, but is it real? So, you can find it on Goodreads if you want to check it out. Then, if you want to... Yeah, if you want to check it out either on Goodreads or my website, um, yeah, I would like to read you, because it was an assignment, <laughs> I would like to read you something that my um, tutor wrote, like my screenwriting teacher, I suppose, uh, wrote um, after he graded my, my script. I got like a 70% <laughs> mark. Um, by the way, this was written in like... 2011 but this is this is the mark for the original script i wrote um so yeah the one i just showed you that i've published is called the man who drew as you could see but the original script was called was titled paint as i said i've done a few changes to it uh, but it's more or less the same the bare bones are, are the same the same feeling and ideas <laughs> so i would like to read you what my uh teacher Goran <laughs> uh, wrote, <laughs> wrote about it. I thought it was really nice and it was one of the few people and a few moments in my life that I really felt appreciated and I felt like I could write. So yes, this is what he, he wrote about, <laughs> about my script. Um, your script for a non-dialogue film is called Paint. It has little to do with the previous premise of the man in a wheelchair alone at a railway station with memory, remorse, tears, a tulip for forgiveness, but all, for, all the better for it. It is a script with a very strong premise of a painter who makes the world and time appear and disappear and makes characters come and go until he is himself erased, perhaps by a higher painter. The script contains an excellent dramatic morphing, morphing, flights of magic realism and cinematic poetry. The action is simple and effective, the char characterization stripped down and good. There is strong opposition and contrast in this original premise. You handle it with panache and confidence. You deliver fresh and developed characterization, good kinetic energy and movement and fine attention to detail. It benefits from well-chosen imagery and well-sequenced scenes. Perhaps the final draft of this script can be a bit tighter, more compressed and easier on the reader. For start starters, lose all the bold font. But that is a minor thing. I'm looking forward to a possible production of this material in year three. Well done, Mira. <laughs> so, yeah. Oops. 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 Yep. Um, yep. That's what he wrote. Um, and as he mentioned, he lo was looking forward to a production of the material of the script in my third year, which I did, but I'll be honest with you, the short film I did, which wasn't that short, it was like 16 minutes long, uh, wasn't the best, because I kind of tried to do everything myself, uh, like filming, getting the actors, like directing, cinematography, production, everything, so it wasn't like the best movie. Uh, many people like the way it was shot, but 
it was I think it was a bit too long it should have been cut down now it was I'm looking down I'm looking back on that I've learned so much from it so and I'm I'm happy I did it but certainly I wouldn't try to do a, another movie on my own it's hard work and not just that because it's hard work but you need more people to give you opinions and advice because you might be caught up in your own, own material it's the same as writing a novel you need feedback so you're not like oh this is beautiful because the shot is beautiful you have to keep it you have to like kind of cut some of it and just keep the most important part of it the core of the story you can't just like keep it dragging it and stuff like that anyway so as i was saying the man who drew was i decided on the title when i did a film a short film in my third year as uh, my main film project um and yeah i've changed the title from paint to the man who drew and uh, yeah that that film had a different ending um and the final script which i published and i was just showing you on the kindle um it has a different version as well because <laughs> it's a very malleable scenario it's like can be open ending it's very you can do a lot with that idea and um, that's why it was it's one of the reasons why I've published it, published it because even if it's a short script I think it, it can be developed into a novel or a film so if anyone is open to <laughs> like if they want to check it out then maybe I don't know do something with it obviously let me know because <laughs> I've wrote I've written it but I would love to see that made into a bigger project maybe uh, but for now it's just a short script and if you guys would like to check it out please do as I mentioned you can find it on Amazon like if you go on Goodreads look at my books uh, you'll you'll find it there um, and you can if you want to read it you can get it from Amazon there's links on Goodreads to all the other stores um, so yeah that's what I <laughs> wanted to say um, I'm not mm, thinking if I should let you know about anything else at the moment. Um, I am currently caught up in between work and my day job. I'm kind of writing for my second novel, but I'm not like stressing out about it at the moment. I'm just I'm focused on reading other authors, like other books. I want to relax a bit because I've you know recently published my debut novel so I don't want to rush into writing the second novel immediately sorry because it's just nice to read other authors and get inspired get other ideas I'm not quite sure where I want to go with the second script exactly or the second script with the second novel for following my novel Velvet Touch so following that story so I'm just taking my time <laughs> with everything. I'm not doing National Writing Month like Nano Raimo. I'm sure many people are doing it at the moment, and I very much appreciate those who are. But yeah, uh, I also want to say thank you to one of my favorite booktubers, Peter Likes Book, Peter Mon, who's uh, an author himself, uh, for showing my book. Velvet touching in one of his videos, um, one of his book hauls. Can't wait to see what he has to say once he finishes reading it. Uh, but he said he loved the cover so far and he read the blurb. He was really <laughs> impressed on, uh, about the blurb as well. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much <laughs> for listening to me again. My video is quite long, it was once more, I can't seem to keep it short. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll check it out, that story, um, The Man Who Drew. It's a, as I said, very short story but it's very dear to my heart and I think it will inspire many of you. Uh, yeah, as mentioned, it's a non-dialogue script. It was quite an interesting process to, to write. At the time I was relieved because... Um, my English wasn't like that great. I didn't feel confident to write dialogue, like believable dialogue. But in, in the second like, semester, I suppose, 
uh, we had to write a dialogue script which didn't come out as nice as the first script I had to write for the class but uh, looking back on that experience writing a non-dialogue script um, it's very I don't know it's interesting now I feel much better at writing dialogue but at the same time I really like this script not just because I wrote it obviously but just because it's interesting how you look at the world and write how you write a story and some of those people in the story without them actually saying any words just focusing on their gestures and their feelings how to show those feelings and yeah it's just a very interesting experience and yeah it was very very interesting I would urge you to oh, those of you who are writers I would urge you to try and write something without dialogue and not even like not just not dialogue but no no words not, not like spoken or thoughts or anything just like ideas like maybe I'm not expressing myself properly not just like try to show a story without the people speaking or like having mo monologues either interior or exterior anything just show them as one of the advice of most important advices in writing is show don't tell so yeah um, try that <laughs> see how you guys find it um, I found it really nice <laughs> it's a really fun script to write at the time I wrote it in a sink of two nights or some well not two nights because I gathered ideas but once I left everything on the last moment and I just when I had to hand in the project I was like oh I have to connect all these things so I just put them together and it was just like came out quite nice <laughs> if I did say so myself as my tutor was kind enough to say and I just him in like uh, when we were discussing what projects to do in the third year um, the other film tutors they were really nice and they really wanted to see my project <laughs> done um, but yeah <laughs> so thank you thank you so much <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely afternoon evening whatever you are in the world uh, have a lovely day and take care of yourself guys bye